Introducing Blue Cat Audio's latest tastemaker, Destructor. This is not your grandfather's virtual guitar cabinet simulator. Destructor combines the needs of a producer, engineer, and a musician with this over-the-top distortion and amp simulator modeling tool. Blue Cat Audio's Destructor gets the last word on amp simulation technology with this ridiculously comprehensive set of tools that can free you from your hardware's limitations. It's the most humanly dynamic distortion and amp simulator to ever exist. Destructor is not just another distortion amp simulator plugin that happens to sound incredible. For expanding your production vocabulary, it offers so many creative tools that you can run on a guitar, bass, drum track, a vocal aux, or even a master bus mix. This is a studio tool that can not only replace your live rig, but it can open your sound to new dimensions with Blue Cat's signature out of the box thinking. For the musician, it can take your guitar or bass to the next level of creative control by not only being able to recreate any sound you already know, but by delving into new sonic territory. With more than enough presets and predefined models, you always have a beautiful starting point to sculpt your new tone. It's not only great for distortion, or so the name Destructor would suggest, it's also great for clean tones as well. If you're not a guitar player, that statement will make no sense to you. But a clean tone isn't just the absence of an amp's character, but rather a controlled and delicate balance of the amp's best characteristics to achieve in the hardware world. With hundreds of predefined models and presets, you can have everything from great tones from the past to exploring the future with some real mind-bending presets. One of Destructor's great strengths is that it is based on a perceptual model rather than the conventional impulse response or electronic modeling design of other plugins. The signal path is simplified, allowing a pure signal, enabling you to quickly make your tone fit into the mix. Thanks to its exclusive adaptive shaper, it's reactive to the musician's dynamic intentions, providing a very natural feeling, similar to analog gear. Just to push its capabilities way over the top, you can import reference curves measured with Blue Cat's Freak Analyst Multi to quickly match existing tones. This can be useful for more than just matching guitar tones. Just think of all the creative possibilities in studio use as well. Sometimes a piece of equipment enters your studio or guitar rig and you just can't imagine life before it existed. Blue Cat Audio's Destructor is just that piece of gear. Let's quickly go over the user interface before we go into depth on any individual component. At the top, there's the main toolbar, where you can bypass the effect, set individual input and output gains, select a preset, and more. Just below the main toolbar, you'll find the controls for the input gate and compressor, and the respective modules for the preamp filter, the destructor, and the post filter. Last but not least is the brick wall limiter, Let's start from the beginning of the signal chain. After setting the level on your physical preamp or audio interface, depending on your situation, you can set the input level for the entire plugin right here. This can also be useful if you're adding Destructor to a pre-recorded track with undesirable levels and need to make adjustments. Signal flow is important, especially with distortion, so make sure you're getting a decent level without going over. Next, for an added layer of input control, we have the input gate and compressor. If the ground floor is too noisy on your track or guitar, you can set the gate to either tastefully remove the noise floor or adjust the settings to make it more of an effect on the heavy chug-a-chug -chug guitar sounds. The compressor can tame unstable levels in your track, help add sustain to the signal, and also be used creatively like the gate. Next in the signal chain is the pre-filter, here we can see the basic controls we have available in easy mode. This is a safe place to make adjustments if you're not exactly sure what you're doing when it comes to being frequency specific and want to do the least amount of damage to your sound. But let's have some fun and switch over to advanced mode to really see what's possible. By boosting a particular frequency here, the destruction module will create more harmonics above that range. You will want to addition your sound with the destruction module engaged to see the result of your actions. Now it's time for the fun part, the destruction module. Now you can and probably should stay in easy mode for this module. If you're uncomfortable or a novice at sculpting guitar tones, this is a safe place to be. And while we're being safe, 
Let's jump ahead to the end of the signal chain and make sure the brick wall limiter is enabled to protect the output of the plugin from unnecessary or undesirable overload. One more thing about the easy view of the destruction module. Because Blue Cat Audio does everything all the way, there are 1400 different graphic user interfaces for your viewing pleasure. Yep, 1400 of them. If you're more of an under the hood type, you'll want to get into edit view instead. Here, you can set the destruction curve, set the drive amount, and add many different flavors to your particular destructive path. You can also choose different shaper presets or save your own. The basic shape of the curve can be set with the two white dots and the arrow in the display. We'll get more into the destruction module in a minute, but for now, let's fill in the missing portion of the signal chain with the output or post filter. The post filter can be used to simulate cabinets for guitar sounds. While you might have found and boosted a desirable frequency in the pre-filter, you might have rendered the sound off balance and difficult to fit in the mix. Here, you can rebalance the sound by reducing the harmonics in a previously boosted range. Make sure you keep an eye on your brick wall limiter. You want to make sure it's working, but not constantly overloaded. Now let's get back to the destruction module. On the main display, you can see your destruction curve in white. In green, you can see the curve that is applied to the signal using your additional settings. The pink curve simulates the results of your particular destruction on a virtual sine wave seen in blue for reference purposes. Before we get into some final audio examples of Destructor in action, let's hit the last couple settings. Adjust the smooth setting to reduce the harshness of the distortion. For asymmetric distortion, rectify the sound. Now this is crazy. Bit depth does not actually reduce the bit depth, but rather simulates it by quantizing the distortion curve. What? That's crazy. The shape mix allows you to set how much of the destruction curve is applied to the signal, expressed as a percentage. Lastly is the sample rate reduction decimation feature. This is amazing on everything when used tastefully. If you're like me, you can appreciate aliasing or digital artifacts as an effect. It can make any modern keyboard sound nostalgic in a second and can add a little weirdness to your guitar tone. Download the demo or buy Destructor today and get sculpting your own unique tones with a little help from your friends at Blue Cat Audio.